This is MSJ Chem, and in this video we're going to look at the dissociation of oxygen and ozone. Let's start by looking at each molecule in turn, starting with ozone, which has the formula O3. On the left we have the resonance hybrid structure for ozone. On the right we have the two resonance structures of ozone. As you can see, ozone is a polar molecule with the negative dipole being on this oxygen and the positive dipole being on this oxygen. If we look at the resonance structure, the two bonds in ozone are intermediate in strength and length between a single and a double bond. They have a bond order of 1.5. Next we look at oxygen, which has the formula O2. On the left we have the Lewis structure for the oxygen molecule. On the right we have the space filling model for the oxygen molecule. As you can see, oxygen has a double bond between the two oxygen atoms. The oxygen molecule has a double covalent bond between the oxygen atoms. That means it has a bond order of 2. Next we will compare the bond strength in the oxygen molecule and the ozone molecule. The double bond in the oxygen molecule is stronger than the bonds in the ozone molecule. Therefore it requires more energy to break the bond in the oxygen molecule than in the ozone molecule. Basically this double bond in the oxygen molecule is stronger than these two bonds in the ozone molecule. Therefore this double bond requires more energy to break. Next we'll have a quick review of the relationship between energy and wavelength. Here we have the electromagnetic spectrum. Energy increases from right to left and wavelength decreases from right to left. So higher energy means shorter wavelength, lower energy means longer wavelength. Next we look at the bond dissociation in the oxygen molecule. This equation shows the dissociation of the oxygen molecule in the presence of UV light to form two oxygen free radicals. The double bond in oxygen is broken by UV radiation with a wavelength of less than 242 nanometers, forming two oxygen free radicals, which you can see here and here. Now we'll compare the previous slide to the bond dissociation of ozone. In this equation, we have the ozone molecule dissociating in the presence of UV light to form an oxygen molecule and one oxygen free radical. The bond in ozone is broken by UV radiation with a wavelength of less than 330 nanometers, forming an oxygen molecule and an oxygen free radical. Let's finish with a summary. Here we have the molecule, the bond order and the wavelength of UV light that causes the bond to dissociate. So we have oxygen O2 has a bond order of 2 and a wavelength of less than 242 nanometers. In ozone it has a bond order of 1.5 and is dissociated by a wavelength of less than 330 nanometers. The stronger double bond in molecular oxygen O2 requires higher energy UV radiation, that means lower wavelength to break. The weaker bond in ozone requires lower energy, so that's higher wavelength to break. So to summarize, the oxygen molecule requires UV radiation of less than 242 nanometers, because the bond is stronger and the ozone molecule requires UV radiation of less than 330 nanometers because the bond is weaker. 